and we're waving, right? Welcome back, boys, to another week of Cooking with AJ. Today, we're cooking some chicken korma. Absolute classic recipe. So uh, let's get right to it. All right. So, um, yeah. So once again, as for pretty much almost every single recipe that we have here, marinating, something that you have to do in advance. But uh, because, you know, I want to show you guys what's good. I'll just do it on stream. It's fine. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's whip out the ingredients. We've got some chicken. We've got some uh, some cilantro. Uh, we'll need some garlic. Uh, some onion, of course. Ah, fuck you now. Sun opens. There we go. We'll use the full one because it's fairly small. Um, so here's the thing, this is probably going to be found controversial by some, but uh, some yogurt, right? And uh, I think we're, oh yeah, and some, uh, some chicken stock as well. All right, there we go. Uh, I have to uh, bring to your attention, of course, that uh, in order to make the rice, which is basmati rice that we're using, uh, we're going to be using a rice cooker, which is 1000% recommendable items. Of Sebastian, why are you tripping? Uh, which is 1000% recommendable, dude. That shit is fucking OP, man. And uh, I already got some, but here we got some uh, basmati rice. Look at this zoom in. I don't know if it's even zooms in, but sheesh. How about it, dude? All right, Seba tripping on the Zaza, literally. Should we get him over? Let, let's get him to say hi before my hands are dirty. I don't know if you can, you can hear him, but he's tripping balls, man. Sebi, what's up? Oppa. My boy's tripping on the Zaza, dude. <laughs> There's Sebastian. Say hi to all the new peeps. Look at this tail, man. It's all fucking massive, isn't it? Um, AJ laced his foot. You what? Sorry, mate. Uh, yeah, he's tripping balls, man. He he really is tripping balls. Uh, but yeah, of course. Uh, also, what we're gonna need is some spices, right? So we have some. Uh, we have some garam masala here absolutely essential and we have some uh some actual korma spice mix as well so curry korma good shit and uh what we'll start with is we'll just chop up the chicken i think and uh get it get it marinating essentially uh massive tail yeah it is. <laughs> chill out yeah we got our recipe here because uh you know i like to forget things so uh let's see what's the sebi no chill from this cat uh so yeah boys uh let's get out the knife as well our cleaver we, we sharpened it a little bit so uh should be a little bit better to to utilize now hopefully it still could use better sharpening but you know i still don't have the the wet blade i suppose that is a beast. Sebastian is a beast, my friends. Sebastian is a beast. I think that's a very good spot. Uh, and you, you'll get to know the more the more you see him, man. The more you see him, the more you can reassure that he's an absolute animal. All right, so uh, I went with some, uh, some chicken tenders today, actually. So um, they're quite nice and easy to cut. Already come into almost bite-sized uh, pieces. So we'll, uh, we'll go with that, man. Chop away all the unwanted veins and all that biz. So, Arkeas and Casper, how's work, boys? Must have been busy today, or? Was it, wasn't it? was it quite a nice day in the Netherlands? Sebastian, you already had treats, man. Do not go for raw chicken. And another question to Arkeas. 
Yeah, the chicken's still fine. But I have to say, man, when you get chicken in Spain, that shit goes so fucking quickly, man. That shit goes so rapidly that you really have to utilize it like a day or two after the purchases, man. Uh, the, weather, the, the, weather, the weather was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice summer day, isn't it? Uh, uh, 12 sent me a, a screenshot that it was, uh, it was like 13 degrees, 13, 14 degrees or something sunny. So that's, that's nice. All right. Sebi. He, he really is tripping today. I don't know. We had some thunder today. Uh, so the weather here is actually pretty damn garbage. So he's kind of been a bit spooked by that. What holiday? You what, sorry? Uh, but it's a holiday in the... Oh, Robert Wright National Holiday. Let's chop away all the garbage. Mm. I actually got fair bit of chicken here. I have to say, fair bit of chicken. I'm gonna have some spare for sure, but it's always meal preppable, lads. That's that's the upside of cooking. There's gonna be leftovers. Uh, everyone's Dutch these days, dude. Literally everyone is, man. Everyone literally is, man. I don't, I don't know how is it so. I don't know if Brawlhalla is like giga popular in the Netherlands or what the fuck the deal is, but there's a, there's a lot of Dutch people, yeah. Uh, today is the day Jesus rised to the heaven. <laughs> Shit. Well, how about that, man? I hope you celebrated it well, dude. What What is the day even? Is it 16th of May? Is that when he raised to the heaven? Thank God they recorded it, man. How would we celebrate otherwise? I mean, I have to say, the knife is feeling way better now. I'll have to say that. Just giving the rest of this chicken some chops. We might even give some to Seb, like, actually, no, it's going to have bloody curry on it, so probably better not. All right, just like that. So all the chicken is chopped and in its initial container, Sebi, he really is tripping, man. He really is tripping. And when the cat is tripping, things tend to go south. 18th, or is it 18th today? True. I actually knew that too. But you know. Sebi, enough. Bro. Jesus. Actually, yeah, that's uh that guy's goat for real. Yeah, I'll show him I'm sure I'll show him a little bit more. Oh Malachi, can you set the game to uh Hollow Knight, please? If that's alright. Anyways, so yeah, here we got our chicken ready for the marinating. We've got a yogurt here as well for it. I bought it specifically in small bits. And uh, we're just going to give it some salt as well, of course. Fair bit of salt. We'll add some, uh, some korma curry mix, spice mix. That's a fair bit. And then we'll chuck in some yogurt too. Sebi, no, big man. So some Greek yogurt is uh, is pretty Gucci, works pretty well. All right, to be honest, I think this should be fine. Let's give it a mix with them hands. Oh, that actually felt quite gross, I have to say, but it's... Uh, it's got to be done, boys, for the cooking. There we go. It's getting, uh, taking on that, uh, 
the yellow yellow color of the spices to be honest we could actually genuinely add more spices as well uh, or you know the spice mix but it's uh, it's fine so ideally you know as is with pretty much as i said everything that we we make here you want to marinate it for for a couple of hours prior to cooking but uh if you don't have that then you don't have that all right so now it's uh i'll show you probably in a second now it's all mixed in and uh ready to just chill out for a little bit there it is it's a bit on the lighter side you could add a bit more a bit more curry to it to be honest but it's uh it's okay it will do just fine so we'll we'll set it aside for the time being we'll get out our pan as well our favorite anti-oil splash material of course get our normal chopping board uh, and so what we're going to do now an important step that a lot of people skip out on boys uh now where the fuck is it an important step that a lot of people skip out on is wash your rice lads you gotta wash your rice man you gotta wash out all the bad shit from it so we're washing a little sieve. Just give it a rinse, really. It doesn't have to be for long. Because uh, especially if you're using a rice cooker, what this is going to do is it's going gonna, it's gonna to get out all the starch from it as well. All right. So get it nice and washed, lads. There we go. It's uh, washed. Should be fine. Maybe maybe even a bit more. Just you can run your hand through it a little bit as well. All right. So um, yeah, if you haven't used rice cooker in the past, which uh, as I said, highly highly recommended uh, cooking utensil. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's a utensil, but cooking accessory, I suppose. It's uh, it's honestly just perfect for for rice, but you can ask, you can actually I heard you can uh, use couscous in it, and it's actually fairly cheap as well. It's uh, a small one like this, which is actually really quite a small one. I think it's for like four hundred, up to like a liter of rice. I guess you can you can actually make in it, but it makes it makes it perfect really. Um, but essentially the way you do it to, to get like a perfect amount of water in, some people do two to one rice to water, but I personally do one part rice and one and a half, um, one and a half liquid. So, uh, people don't have rice cookers, dude, people do not have rice cookers. I know, man, it's kind of wild, but it's, it's how it is, man. And essentially what. I quite like to do to give it a nice flavor as well is instead of using uh, instead of using water to boil it I use chicken broth right so it's pretty much water with chicken flavor to it because that actually adds on a little bit of uh, a little a little more flavor to it so since I pre-measured the rice uh, we have around 150 so what we'll do is use around 225 milliliters of, uh, of stock with it. And uh, yeah, set it all in. Add a bit of salt as well, but because the broth is a bit salty as it is, just, uh, just a little salt will go into that water. And then we'll take our rice and pop it right in as well. Spread it around there, get it ready. There we go, chuck the lid on boys, turn the machine on, and uh, put it in the cooking mode, and that's it boys. That's the rice ready in about, what? I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. Sounds like a pretty damn good to me. 
So if you haven't got a, a rice cooker, 100% would recommend. How much turkey money is that? <laughs> For real, dude. Himalayan salt? Absolutely, Malachi. Absolutely, mate. You gotta, gotta go with the best, son. All right. Whilst the rice is cooking, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get prepped on the chicken and the sauce. All right. And so uh, we'll uh, we'll chuck on the pan and get that chicken nice and brown, boys. That's what we're gonna do. Man, I swear to Lord Almighty. This is fine. And uh, whilst the pan is heating up, we're of course going to add some oil, 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 <laughs> oil to it. They want no burning. Uh, and yeah, we'll get we'll get ready on the on the onion and the garlic. And actually, also, I mean, it's kind of optional for corn. It's usually not spicy, right? But uh, you can add some chili flakes as well which is what we'll do. All fresh chilies as well. The problem is my fresh chilies are not ready just yet, but they are very soon. So, uh, so we're still kind of waiting on that. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and mash it so it heats up quicker. So in meanwhile, we're just going to give this onion a quick clear. Yo, it's soda in the house, man. But yo, our chaos, my guy. I killed Melania today, dude. What do you think of that, son? How about it, eh? All right, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to get that far. I did not think I was going to get that far at all. Uh, we don't have any other knives, so we're going to have to clean this one. Yeah, Malachi ran out, dude. Unlucky stuff, I have to say. All right, so we'll just uh, chop up this onion. We'll chop it roughly though, because uh, it's kind of nice to have a bigger pieces of it. How's it going, Soda? What are you up to, dude? What? How's your day been? Fuck, chopped it a little too much here. There we go, little chunks of onion. Let me get this a little, a little more chopped. There we go. These are these are going to be slightly bigger pieces of it. Not gigantic, but still. Okay, this way I actually don't want as well. Get it nice. Nice and equal sized. Honestly, that's not even that much onion. You could use more. I finished my exam for the year. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. That was uh, quick, huh? See, I mean, and now, now it's time to chill, huh? Any, any, uh, any plans for summer specifically or, or not really? Any traveling plans? You going to go to Japan maybe? I don't know. Full marks everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you think so? Our family uh, may go to Italy or Spain. Oh shit, that's a dub decision, dude. That's a dub decision. That is a dub decision, son. Where in Spain, though? Uh, that's where our awesome can come live with you. Oh, well... I mean, you and Nato, maybe, but your family too? Sheesh, I don't know about that, dude. I mean, th that that's going to get a bit tight with Sebastian. It's going to get a little tight, man. Even though... Isn't it, Seb? 
going to be the family dog. Bruv, you're going to get battered by Seb, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, here we go. So the... The stove is getting up to temperature. I'll bite back. Oof. I mean, you can try if you want, dude. You can try. You could try, but you know, the, if you batter Sebastian, mate, you're dead man. You are dead man, bro. Not that I think that you will. I think he'll batter you before, but you know, you just never know with things like that. So let's uh, let's chop that garlic up in little pieces. Fine chopping, otherwise. Isn't it, Sebi? Oh shit, I got a bit of it off off the table. Oh, let nothing go to waste, lads. All right, this will do fine. Three cloves of lovely garlic. All right, sweet. So the, the oven is just hot enough now. I'm now a third done with my A-levels. A third? What, do you have three years of A-levels? What do you mean? All right, lads, so time for the chicken to go and get boiled. And by boiled, I mean fried. We're part of the ventilation, lads. Here we go, the heat is high. We just want to get some good browning in. And then we're gonna re-add the onion once uh, once the chicken is uh, is done cut, being coloured. They were grade us uh, one year in my course and two for second year. That is really unusual. That is really unusual. But whatever, man. I guess that's. <laughs> I, I guess so, bro. I guess so. So I'm just thinking if we could maybe take more onion or not. We can take maybe, we could actually maybe add half more onion to be honest. Whilst we have the time, let's just, uh, let's just do that. Where's Nato anyway? Has he done with his exams too? Or... Do you guys actually take the same exams, all of the A-levels? I don't know, since you're, you know, twins at all. Why do you say onion in French accent? I don't know, dude, it's kind of banter. There's, you, you've seen the video, right? All right, here we go. Some more roughly chopped onion. <laughs> Any onion that, oh, sorry, onion that we've been using has actually not been that uh, bad. No, uh, no tearing in the eyes so far. I have returned. Welcome back. That was, uh, that was solid ten minutes, big man. Some solid ten minutes, bro. <laughs> My antenna did a, a big fucking died. I see. I thought you're helping your mum still, Jesus. Uh, I'm just going to cover up this onion and put it back in the fridge, you know. Keep it fresh. All right, we're going to we're going to go ahead and turn the chicken so it gets browned on the other side as well. Because the heat is so high. Well, it is high. It gets done very quickly. And to be honest, because I'm just gonna add the onions into the same pan, it doesn't matter if it's not cooked through because it will finish it anyway. But what does matter is that it gets the nice coloring. Dude, where actually? Here we go, we've got some cream as well. Yeah, that's fine. So as soon as we get a bit more color in, we'll uh, we'll add in the onion as well, so it starts cooking. 
I helped her. I helped her long ago. Right. Uh, you should say it like the the one random cooking stream and ignore all questions about it. Oh, is that right? Uh, got a rice cooker? Of course, my friends. Absolutely, bro. It's cooking up that basmati rice, mate. Um, it's a traditional type. Uh, is that right? I don't even know, but fair, man. I've got to go now. All right, Dino, thanks for stopping by, mate. Wish you a pleasant evening. Well, I mean... Okay, I'm just going to say it the way it is now. It's, it's on yong, guys, and there's no... There's no other way about it. There's no alternative. This is just, you're going to have to accept it for what it is, all right? It's decided. And we'll never speak of it again. I'm just going to put the stuff in the dishwasher. That's absolutely loaded, my brother. Come on, these, these bits need a bit more. Sweet. Oof, the rice is smelling Gucci, man. I can, I can smell it through here. I'm just gonna turn the hole that way so it, it gets uh, picked up by the ventilation. Uh, that busmati rice, that is right, man. We're here with busmati rice, mate. Because that shit is bussing. That shit is bomba, brother. Man, a bomba rice. Onion, that's right. Perfection, that is right. We keep it professional here, boys. We keep it professional. Well, speaking of that, uh, I think it is now time for the onion to get into the pan. So uh, we're literally just adding it on top of the chicken that's already here. And uh, whilst it is getting ready here, give it a nice mix as well, of course. Make sure it's nice and cooked. Actually kind of breaking it up as well a little bit into little, little parts. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of uh, korma spice into it because honestly I could have added a bit more to the to the chicken itself so but it's fine we, we improve we improvise we over overcome right and so to get it nice and soft now is when I'm gonna chuck on this anti-splash uh, anti-splash stuff but it also serves to kind of keep some of the heat in so it's a it's a two in one really uh looks like a lot of rice it's it's not a crazy amount of rice actually it's uh it's about 100 and 150 grams maybe so uh, 100 yeah it was i was just just about 150. Uh, I swear to God, man, that's a splash guard uh, you got is impossible to find. Did you know it is actually very difficult to find? You're not wrong because, right? Because I was trying to get another one at some point back because it's meant to come with a little handle that that broke off at some point. And dude, I couldn't, man. I don't even know what fucking brand it is. So yeah, man, it is difficult to find. I'm just going to quickly separate the stock of this uh, cilantro away from the leaves. But it is really good, dude. It is a really good uh, anti-splash because, dude, I have to say that a lot of them, dude, they, they're like metal or whatever, dude, and they're hard to clean, dude. They're hard to clean, but this uh, the silicon stuff just does the job perfectly, man. I have to say, I really do. Not sponsored, by the way, but you know, if uh, if the company that is uh, making them happens to be watching me, which you know, super likely, uh, I'm down, boys. Send me more. All right, so these are the leaves, nice and separated. I mean, we're going to chop all of it anyway, but it's because some of it is going to be for garnishing. We're just going to chop the stalks. 
separately. Like that is fine, so we'll keep these aside. And then for the actual cilantro, we keep it like this. All right, sweet. So, uh, so pretty much what we'll do is we'll, we'll take maybe like this middle part for the garnishing and leave it out here, and then the rest will just mix in. All right, perfect. There's also bits of chicken in my sink, which uh, is not ideal because it's raw. 12 building uh, an exact replica of AJ's house. <laughs> For real, dude, because he also lives in a small one now, isn't it? I can see them on AliExpress, but I'd rather not have uh, unregulated Chinese plastic. Yeah, because that's not plastic technically, right? So, um, when did my arm become so big? That is a good question, dude. It just, uh, it is continuously doing so as we pump it up. There we go, the, the onion is, oh sorry, f the onion is, uh, is loosening up as well. Getting, uh, getting nice and cooked up. It's gonna need a little bit more though gonna need a little bit more we can actually maybe chop that even more here there we go into very fine chopped uh, cilantro not even yummy unregulated Chinese plastic I mean that sounds pretty dank bro if you ask me uh, what is the Hollow Knight's plan today? Yes, yeah, so uh, I've looked at the list that you sent me, RKS, right? And uh, well, I've confirmed that I'm 95% through. So theoretically, I'm only 5% away from... Um, I'm only 5% away from 100% completion, right? Now, I could get it with trinkets or with charms rather. That would be very simple. But uh, I want to try to get the God's Home stuff sorted. You know, at least uh, at least those two. Uh, yeah, pumping always, man. Pumping always, brother. Uh, you need arms at least uh, that big of control. Yeah, 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 bro. Sebastian's not going to be controlled if you don't have big arms. Uh, what did he do last stream? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Last stream on Tuesday, huh? Yeah, because he weren't here, Malika. But I don't know if our case was. I don't know if he saw what I was up to. Uh, anyways. Mm, all right. So the onion is nice and uh, almost cooked up. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in the garlic and we're going to add in the parsley, uh, sorry, the cilantro. And the rice cooker just got finished because I heard the sounds go off. Actually, is it, do we add cilantro now or is it later? Actually, it's not now. It's not now. I got to check. Now we're just uh, going to add some uh, chili flakes then. Some chili flakes and the garlic. And we're gonna let that cook for a little bit because it doesn't it doesn't need to be long. Garlic is pretty quick to cook. There we go. Just chuck that on. Turn down the heat a little bit, that's fine. Take this away, that's garbo. Uh wasn't there much last stream? Yeah. Uh, you need to squat more. Uh, dude, pff, no, I do not, brother. My legs are extremely pumped. No, I do not, dude. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe for the butt, but my legs, my, my fucking quads, man, they're, they're, they're pumped. They're pumped to the tits. Anyways, boys, so the rice is ready, okay? The rice is ready, so... 
and actually it's coming at a pretty good timing as well. Uh, this is probably disgustingly hot, isn't it? Usually you kind of want to let it rest for a bit so it gets nice. All three legs? <laughs> well, of course. Of course, my brother. Sebi, you want to come say hi again? Look, he's wondering about the recipe. He's curious what cilantro. There he is, saying hi to anyone who hasn't seen him first time around. Rotating those humongous ears of his. Uh, it was a hella nice day uh, today over here. It was, wasn't it, eh? Well, not for me personally in Spain, but uh, I'm sure it was over in the Netherlands. So let's get that rice away. Well, put the cooker away as well for some little extra space because boys you just can't have too much space in a studio get it nice and unplugged so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it around from the bottom a little bit just in case it starts getting burns to the bottom which it honestly it is a little bit but it's I mean, it's not even burned, it's just getting a bit stuck. So we'll just, we'll just move it and then we'll, we'll keep on the, the lid, let it, uh, let it continue to steam up. You live in Spain? Yes, sir. I do live in Spain. All right, brilliant. So the garlic and the onion are, are Gucci. We've got some nice coloring going. So we're gonna, we're gonna slap down the heat let me actually put that here because that, that's more useful. And what we do now is we're actually going to take the same chicken stock and add a little bit to it and boil it down for, for a little flavor. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to get mostly reduced, so it's not going to be liquidy at all. But uh, actually, we can use a little bit more, a little, little splash more, mate. There we go. We're pretty much approaching the end of this, really. So uh, it's, uh, it's almost good to go. I'm just going to put away that chicken stock. I live in Spain without the S. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky, brother. All right, so we're not going to put the lid on for this one just because we do want it to boil out, okay? That's the, that's the plan. But meanwhile, we take our time to put away some stuff, not waste any time. Put the knives away and all that good shit. go. Nice, it's boiling up, lads. Oof, I'm looking forward to dinner. I really am. Still, we've got our rice here with little Joseph Joseph anti-heat proof so it doesn't destroy the countertop. Not that I think it will anyway, but it's heavy. Uh, but yeah, I actually didn't really get much done on Hollow Knight last time. But, uh, yeah, I want to complete these two challenges, at least try. I do have until 12 today, so uh, there's a bit of a time limit, but uh, should, be, uh, should be quite a bit of time anyway. Let's see. Temps in the low 20s are perfect for me. I don't know how it was down there. Um, today it was a thunderstorm, so, <laughs> you know, the temperatures were probably close to 25, I guess, with, with, the, with the thunderstorm, but um, no, normally it's, uh, it's around 30 degrees here at the moment, 29, 30, which for, 
for May. That's still quite high. I added the worst fucking time. I'll, I'll repeat it to you after. All right, brilliant. So, yeah, it's almost done. It's almost fully reduced now, the stock. It's kind of converted into like more like a sauce-like consistency, which is what we're looking for. We'll give it maybe one extra minute and then we're gonna add in the, the cream. In it, Sebi. Yeah. Uh, let me just think. Yeah, we'll get out of this plate here. We're gonna have, oh shit. Yeah, we're really actually lacking for space here today. Because it's, uh, whenever there's a, a few, it's, it's done already. All right, so, so the temperature's here. We had a thunderstorm today, but, uh, but it typically is, um, okay, now it's reduced. So I'm just going to actually take the heat off entirely because this uh, pan takes forever. Uh, but it usually is 29.30. Okay, that sounded a bit farty from that cream. There we go, add the rest of it. And then we'll uh, chuck in the cilantro as well. Okay, um, maybe a little more korma spice, tiny bit. That was a fair bit, but still. Give it a good mix of chino. Nice, nice, nice. The color is really popping in nicely here. Very nice. And uh, what we're also going to add is some garam masala as well. Here we go, nice and labeled. Brilliant. Mix it all in and give it a, a little bit of, uh, of rest and then we're done, boys. Nicely encoded, nicely encoded in the sauce. It's smelling really fucking good. Brilliant. All right, in the meanwhile, time to plate it up. I'm also gonna take out some Tupperware. Fuck, do I not have any small Tupperware? That's awkward. All right, so we'll literally take out the like fully meal prep ones. Be ready to judge him? Oh shit, dude. How about that? Okay. There we go, this bit is done. Give this a rinse. The, the, the rice are nice and... Uh, nice and done. <laughs> I didn't even know. Oh, that's hunting hot still. Uh, bro, not gonna lie, I was thinking, I can actually take off this now. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking if I live in a budget and just make chicken and broccoli for like a week all the time, I should be cheap, right? Dude, <sighs> mate, like I told you already, man, but honestly, spices, just fucking invest, man. Just get, like ask your mom or something to get you some spices or, or whatever, dude, like, I mean, it's just not the same without it, man. Let me just try some uh, summarize, see how it is on, on, on salt. Yeah, I could use more. A little more salt, a little more Himalayan stuff. 
Spice, exactly. Dude, like, <laughs> you have to have spices, man. You have to. Like, it's just not even a question. It, it's got to happen, bro. It's got to happen, all right? All right, so uh, let's roll out the rice then. Give it another little mix now that the salt is in it. I'm getting uh, the wholesale spices very cheap. Well, good, man. And that's the thing. Just with that alone, Sebastian, he knows the food is coming. And just with that alone, right, you should be able to... Uh, I mean, mate, rice, pasta, that shit is cheap as fuck. I mean, it's going to be more expensive than... Uh, sorry, it's going to be cheaper than broccoli. No, Sebi, where are you going now? Look at that. Fucking hell. Pasta is more expensive? Pasta is more expensive than broccoli? Mate, what is this bloody world we live in? All right, let's whip out the rice. In it. He's sniffing up the curry, man. Like, <laughs> he's chilling there? He, he really is, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, bloody Sebastian. All right. Oh, uh, no, he's going to react to the chicken. All right, Sebi, you need to go, man. Dude, look, look at him. He's just fucking chilling. Look, he's actually sitting down. All right. Please go. Oh my God, dude, he's actually not going. I literally cannot get him off. Look at this guy, dude. Look at this guy. <laughs> I can't get him off. No, that's honestly ridiculous. All right, dude. My goodness, dude, that was, uh, that was epic, dude. Oh, shit, that's unfortunate. I just dropped some chicken. All right, so here we go, boys. The, the, the sauce and the chicken is ready. The rice is ready as well. I don't know how close it is. Dude, that burned the fuck out of that little piece. <laughs> And also the rice is like slightly more yellow because I had the stock in it. Slightly more yellow and hella more flavorful, dude. That's what we're all about, dude. Whew. Fucking boiling here, man. I'm roasting. All right. Oof. Tasting good. So boys, yeah, here we go. Some chicken korma with basmati rice. It's ready for consumption. It's gonna be a bit on the spicier side and I'm absolutely sweating because it's boiling. So uh, yeah, lads. And the rest is gonna be for, for meal prepping. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in this week and I hope to see you next week.